Hello, friends, everybody, Stop from CorkMe.com. Welcome to day three of the 2020 CorkMe Adult Beverage Advent Calendar video series. Ooh, I'm super thirsty today. So I'm gonna open up my box here and pull out. Oh, it feels like a wine. Oh, look at that, it is a wine. Today's wine is the 2016 Chalk Hill Chardonnay from Wright Creek Vineyards. And you know, while I'm opening a Chardonnay, I can think of no one else better to drink Chardonnay with than my good friend, Christine Campbell of Girls Go Grape. Christine, thanks for joining me uh, early in the season here. How are you? I'm so happy to be here. Thank you so much. Of course. Can you uh, tell us what you're drinking today? Absolument. I'm drinking um, Seven Stones. It's called Speaking Rock Chardonnay 2013. So I dove into my cellar for this wonderful experience. It's uh, from the Similkameen Valley in the Okanagan, uh, British Columbia region. And Similkameen Valley is known for the, or as the organic capital of Canada. So I thought this is not an organic wine, but I love the valley and haven't tried it yet. Haven't gone in. Well, let's do it. Cheers. Cheers. I don't know where you are. <laughs> oh, wow. On mine, I'm definitely getting some lemon zest. I got the uh, some citrus on the nose of that a little bit, but I'm definitely getting like lemon, almost lemon meringue on this. It's got a nice creamy mouthfeel. It's not over oaked and buttery though when I say creamy. That confuses a lot of people. Um, maybe because I believe they uh, batonage this wine. If um, for anybody, you want to explain what that is, Christine? It's the stirring. It's stirring. It's just it's stirring. stirring. It's a fancy way to say stirring. Yeah. So when you're aging uh, Chardonnay, uh, all of the uh, the lees or the dead yeast cells uh, after fermentation will drop to the bottom of that barrel. And uh, when you do the batonnage or stir it up, you get this, uh, generally you're gonna get a silkier, kind of more creamy or bigger in your mouth wine, right? Yes, it, it adds to the texture. Yes. Great. And it's especially used with Chardonnay. Well, yes, and yes. red wine, but yes. Yes. Yeah. Oh. Look at this. Oh. What a surprise. Oh my so, gosh. Christine, I love your shirt, so I decided I would wear the same shirt. Well, not the exact oh. same shirt, but it's I close. love that you're wearing it. Thank you. This cool. one is pretty amazing. This is 2013, so the color is like beautiful gold and wow, we've got we've got age, we've got those secondary notes happening, the almonds, the hazelnuts, kind of more like the um, like a lemon curd and like a mm -hmm. an apple pie almost. So it's got the butter, it's got oak. This um, specific winery is so cool. They have a cave buried seven feet underneath their their property, and so they they do all of their all of their aging down there. And he's uh, George Hansen, amazing barrel, very particular about his barrel selection. So this is oh awesome. I just wish hey. I could be sharing it with you. I know. I was thinking the same thing about this wine here. Uh, so you got British Columbia, we got Sonoma uh, here in the U.S. Uh, represented today. Now, Christine, if you were going to entertain, which you're going to entertain your family exactly, and uh, make some appetizers or some food to go with your wine, what would it be? I'm going to say it's going to be like scallops in a really gentle salted butter. Ooh, Just I like that. Simple. I don't like a lot of, I, I don't like when food and wine compete too much. I like them both to be the hero. And so I think that scallops with the butter sauce would be perfect. Ooh, I love you? that. Uh, mine, I think I would do a, a really light, uh, probably a scampi of some sort with mine as well. Oh, nice. Really awesome. yeah. All right, uh, Christine, tell people about these shirts. We're both wearing the Shardcore shirts. Tell people about them and what Shardcore actually means for you. Well, Shardcore is just my undying love of this great Chardonnay. And I started just thinking I was a hardcore Chardonnay person and that just became Shardcore. So I consider myself a groupie, a fan, a follower. And so I just developed the hashtag Shardcore and uh, I just want to spread the gospel of Chardonnay. It is a beautiful grape. It is so, oh, it just can be expressed in so many different ways. It's kind of like this blank canvas right here. Anything you want to do, you can do to Chardonnay and it usually happily just follows along and expresses exactly what the winemaker wants. It's terroir happy. It's not too hard to grow. Oh, I could just wax poetic. So yeah, hashtag Shardcore. Awesome. And if anybody wants to join us in being Shardcore, I bet they can contact you and maybe figure out a way to get a t-shirt. Oh, absolutely. I've got some. I got right. some. And how would they do that? Hit you up at Girls Go Grape? 
Yep, at girlsgogreat.com is the website. There's a contact there or any of the socials. I'm there too. Awesome. All right, friends, thanks for uh, joining me today. Christine, thanks for joining me. This is a lot more fun with friends. So uh, thanks for joining me. Uh, friends, it's day three. Tomorrow's day four. We're going to keep going. And uh, until next time, be nice, be safe, and be happy. Cheers. Cheers.